All right, so the Ubisoft bandwagon, I guess, or the hype train just does not stop. Apparently, they dropped a brand new Prince of Persia game reveal. Uh, it's called the Rogue Prince of Persia. And this was during the I showcase, which I didn't expect them to have anything like big like this, more so just on the lower scale indies. But the team behind this game for Prince of Persia is the same team behind Dead Cells. And I love Dead Cells. And so when I found out they were doing a, a new Prince of Persia game, hence, like, I saw this go live today, I was like, bro, we got to react to it. We got to make a video out of it. That's probably going to be today's video. Um, so let's go. Hey, let's watch this. Um, I'm, this is pretty exciting just because we just got a Prince of Persia, and I'm kind of shocked we're kind of already getting something else. So jump into it. The art style is like really interesting. I have to see what the gameplay looks like. I imagine it's gonna be like Metroidvania style, assuming it's kind of like a Dead Cells. I wonder if this goes more like to the classic Prince of Persia. Hey, they got the wall running and stuff. Okay, this is looking fire, bro. I I, I had to see gameplay. I got I gotta start seeing some gameplay. Cinematics is, is, is really cool. But I gotta see some gameplay. I gotta see how this is played. Okay, I was wondering when is it gonna have like the whole Sands of Time uh, powers? Is it gonna get that whole thing? Is this the gameplay? That's a cool transition. That's a dope transition. Okay, see, Ubisoft, this. For me, for like Ubisoft as of recent, I lied. When I said that, like, what was the last Ubisoft game that I was excited for? The Prince of Persia, the Crown, uh, was it the Crown Prince, I think it was? That was actually good. So, the fact that we're just getting another, I, I think it's gonna be like another Metroidvania style Prince of Persia game is kind of crazy. That, I, hold on. Man, that was like such a, a small snippet. Steam Early Access. May 14th. Wow, that's, that's this year. No consoles? Oh, wow. Interesting. No consoles. Hold on. That gameplay snippet was so quick, I didn't get a chance to really look at it. Oh, dude, it has a mixture of the wall ring, too. That looks fun. The daggers. I wonder... It looks cool. He's so, like, flowy. In this game, it, it, it's actually really cool. That's a Persia. I do know, I do know it's a roguelite, and again, I think that's like the big thing behind, um, right? Dead Cells being the team behind this, they're making it a roguelite. Interesting, dude. Yeah, I was just gonna say, like, it's kind of interesting that they're deciding to go with two. Again, I imagine this is a Metroidvania, or it's just like a two D platform or whatever. But I, it's kind of crazy that they did two Prince of Persia games of two. The same genre, if not similar genres. Um, so it's kind of interesting. But I mean, this is this is this is pretty cool. I mean, I'm definitely down for this. I I loved Prince of Persia, like the original back well, for me at least, not the original, but I I played the Sands of Time one, I think that was for PSP. And then I think I played like the second one, and then I played what was it? Another one too. Uh the one that was like completely deviated from like the OG ones. It was like very interesting. Um, but it's cool to see Prince of Persia back, but it's interesting that they're going back, like, so far, the two games that we got, or that one that we got and the one that we're getting, is uh, back to more of, like, the Metroidvania style, which I, I totally dig. I'm, I'm a Metroidvania stan. I love these titles. I love the 2D platformers. That's my thing. Um, assuming this is a Metroidvania. This could just be a 2D platformer, but just the roguelite elements. That's just totally fine. I just, the Metroidvania me is assuming it's something more akin to that. Interesting, though. Yeah, I mean, it even has, like, some of the, like, things to watch out for. Like, you know, typical stuff. He's super flowy, dude. 
He's jumping. The slow mo effects. Now this this looks this looks fire, and this looks she looks really cool. I'm definitely down for this. It, interesting that there's no console plans at launch that they're doing a Steam early access May 14th. I mean, to be fair though, right? I'm trying to think. I think I'm pretty sure Dead Cells and everything came out as like a PC before it ever came to consoles. I think most indies of that nature do. But I feel like the team it has such a big name behind them now that it's like I'm surprised. But it, whatever the case may be, I'm definitely gonna get this. I will though. My, I will honestly might wait till consoles just because I'm a, I'm a sim for one of these games on my PlayStation. Um, but we'll see. Maybe I jump into this for the early access. Um, but yeah, no, this this looks dope. I just saw the title for today from like the Triple I showcase, and I did see a Castlevania one too. I did see that there's something with Castlevania. Um. Psh. We're gonna just add this in here real quick. I think it was like V Rising. I never played that game either. I love Castlevania too. This is gonna be a two for one real quick. Um, oh, was it? This was for PlayStation. Let me see. We're gonna do a two for one real quick. I apologize. But these are the two things that I saw that was from that showcase today that I was like, hold on, maybe let me actually look into this. I love Castlevania too. If you couldn't tell, right? The Metroidvania uh, talk earlier. Oh, oh wow, this is gorgeous, dude. Hold on, they're going for like a full 3D? They are, dude. What? I can't tell. I'm guessing that's Alucard. I'm guessing? Or is that... That looks like Alucard. I'm pretty sure it's Alucard, not Dracula. Unless I'm wrong, it is Dracula. You're playing as Dracula. Is that? Oh no, I always get them confused if that's Maria or not. Maria Bernard. Or. Oh my god, Annette, one of the two. Some wolf gameplay. I th I think I think it's Alucard, right? Damn, correct me if I'm wrong. For anybody who knows Castlevania, like I I love it, and I just I'm having split moments that I don't remember. I think he does have the wolf though. I think it's Alucard. This looks fire. Oh man, this you're fighting Simon Belmont. That's interesting, and he's the boss too. That's a cool twist. I like that. The Rising Legacy of Castlevania. That's pretty dope. Battle Sun Belmont. There we go. PS5 2024. Yeah. Bring your Castlevania fantasy to life. No, yeah, this makes sense. I think that is Alucard. That's definitely odd. That's definitely Alucard. And then I always I like I always get the the, the girl mixed up, and I think it's Maria, because I think that's who ends up. I think that's who he ends up liking or something like that, dude. I kind of forget. Because Annette is with uh Oh my goodness, I'm forgetting names of all kinds, man. Not Simon Belmont, Richter Belmont, Jesus. Sorry, I'm like throwing blanks here, but no, that's dope, dude. This is this is exciting too. Uh, again, both both dope games. Uh, back to the Prince of Persia one. This is just something I want to see, but no, the Prince of Persia one, I did enjoy. That one was really cool. Uh, give me your thoughts. Um, if you had anything crazy, you know, uh, if you're a big, I guess, Prince of Persia fan or if you just generally did not care. I don't know. I'm just curious to get people's thoughts on it. They are like, I guess, more of like the indie side, right? Than like the big AAA type of game. So that might be like, you know, a, a, something where people are just kind of picking out like at least versus the other Prince of Persia title, right? That one, I feel like I lean more towards like the AAA side. Um, but yeah, give me your thoughts about it uh, for Prince of Persia. And if you're a Castlevania fan, um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.